Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today I'll be showing you how I made this backdrop for Zoom meetings and photography. To start off, I made a quick sketch of roughly what I wanted to end up with. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't buying anything new for this project that I didn't need, so I went through all of our cabinets and drawers to see what I could find. What I ended up with was five T's, one connector, and one elbow. Now begins the process of measuring my PVC pipe and cutting it. I'll be doing this a lot. I'm quite fortunate to have this little tool that will hold the pipe for me as I cut it. Once I have a section of the pipe cut, I take it outside. I quickly find a spray paint. I have all of my PVC pipe laid out on a tarp. This is the amount and size of the pipes. Feel free to pause this video so that you can write it down. Everything also will be listed down in the description box. Next, I'm going to just highlight some of my favorite parts of my workshop. These were put up by the man who owned the house before us. This is personally my favorite poster. It just has so much information and conversions. Outside, after the first coat dried, Quick outfit change, I was boiling in the long sleeves. It was like 100 degrees out when I did this. And quick warning, I did run out of the white spray paint I was using, so I used tan, so it may look blotchy in some areas. I don't really care. Now it's assembly time. Now, I was lucky enough to get a second pair of hands, but you can do this on your own. If you've never glued PVC pipe, you just put a lot of glue around it and twist it in. Be quick, the stuff will set very quickly. 
and it's done. It's massive and glorious. I love it. One detail about mine is that it's not connected at the top. It actually pops apart. That way it can just slide on shower curtains. Fun fact, shower curtains are a lot cheaper than normal curtains, so buy those instead. My frame is actually two pieces connected at the top. I didn't know any other way that I could easily slide in those hoops for the curtains, so I just had mine in half. Maybe you'll have another idea. Let me know down below. And I found out while making this, you will want every single curtain to have their own hoops. Changing it back and forth is a pain. I found leaning it against a wall and then just lifting up one arm is the easiest way to put it up. If you would like to add fairy lights, use a clamp to hold up the battery pack. If you would like your fabric to be taut, either stick a pin in it or clip it. And there she is. It was quick and simple. Thank you for watching.